Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install screencast keys onto Blender 2.9.1. So I've just installed the latest version of Blender. If you haven't done that, I'll put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to do that. And I'll also put a link in there to my Blender playlist. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser. I'm going to go to this particular website and I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description and we'll click this option here screencastkeys.zip file so you'll find a link to this url in the youtube description let's click this button here or this link here and we'll download screencast keys and we'll open up this folder and just drag and drop it into the folder let's close everything down and open up blender we'll click general as like usual we we'll just click general here and i'm using 2.9.1 we'll click general we'll go to edit preferences here and inside preferences we'll click install and then we'll navigate to my desktop and we'll select that zip file and click install see this option here will pop up and you need to tick it off so tick it off and then close down this here and then close down blender let's reload blender again one more time and we'll click general like usual and then we'll press the letter n the letter n on our keyboard so we'll press n and these options will pop up here and you can press N to close it and the letter N to open it. And we'll click on screencast keys here and we'll tick this option off here. And what we will do is set the font size first. So let's set the offset to 80 here. And now you'll actually see the, the mouse cursor here, right? So as I'm left clicking, right clicking or middle mouse clicking, now someone can actually see what's going on. But I think it's a bit small. So I'm going to set it to size 40. And then the font size, I'm also going to set that to 40. And then the color, I'm going to set it to green. So if you don't see this mouse icon in the corner, you need to change the offset here. Change the offset. So set it to um, 80. Now, depending on your resolution or what you're doing, you might have to adjust the offset, right? And what I normally do is set the delay to four seconds. So it just allows people to see when you're making tutorials, it allows them to see the key presses a little bit better. So if we were to do like... Um, R to rotate and then let's say S to scale you can see that these things here are displayed for a little while right and it's only displaying one two three four five five of the last options it displays it for four seconds and then it disappears but we want to leave that event for a bit longer uh, sorry the, the amount of max events so I'm going to set that to something like 10 so as and when we're pressing these keys now we'll see 10 different events display and they'll display for four seconds and then they'll slowly uh, disappear like this all right and in here it says show mass events and i like to select this one here event history and hold status so when you left click now it will show the left mouse button as default if you leave on event history um it will just show this only and if you show it on hold status then it will only show um the, the mouse actions here so it doesn't actually tell you the text that's been pressed so i leave i leave it on both of them so when i left click you will say left click but then at the same time it will also um, show the mouse action here as well and middle mouse click and then right mouse click as well like this this is how i prefer it r to rotate so we can select the object r to rotate and then we can just rotate it on a specific axis and you can see those key presses down here so set it to a nice color because i think white is a bit just it doesn't really stand out too well so if you're making tutorials on blender then try and set them out as a nice set of colors when you close this now it will stay default as these colors now one thing to note if i were to close down blender and just say don't save and then open up blender one more time click general and then we start mouse clicking middle mouse clicking you won't see anything happen you have to activate the screencast keys every time you use blender so press the letter n then go to screencast keys all your settings are already set just tick this option at the top here tick it off and now you'll see the screencast keys working um, correctly okay so that's how you go about installing screencast keys if you're planning on making blender tutorials lots of people ask me to display the screencasts or, or the key presses um, and i think that's better for people to understand what you're pressing sometimes you don't always explain things in blender and it's nice if uh, they can see the presses just in case you miss something right so in my next tutorial we're going to be looking at particle simulations so if you want to check that out uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel i've got probably about 60 or 70 blender tutorials that you can go through so i'll put a playlist 
there and I've got around 600 videos on my YouTube channel on a wide range of subjects so please do subscribe and uh, give this video a little thumbs up if you've liked it and don't forget to comment comment helps this uh, video rank higher in the search in the YouTube search engines so that will be appreciated as well okay I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial